five, four, three, two, one. Time to explore some new cut weapons. Let's go and see what we get in a surprising test. So right now we have our Isaac, which is the cut weapon. It's faster, does the same damage as possible, as average. And this is what it do. It's faster than a crowbar, you all know. And as you can see right there. Much more short in range. And it has um, some special ability and the capability of the shots that go. It's way faster than a crowbar, so and it does the same damage just like this crowbar does. And has a sharp edge too. So yeah, and this was cut because this weapon can be found from the Arctic region of the Borealis, as you all know, right here. This is the Borealis area. And the kinda like to the era two thousand two Raven home part. And this is just a demonstration of the cut weapons. Well this was cut. Absolutely cut from the game. Next we have our stun baton. We all know, but um here's the sad part. Although it is still present in the game file, but it's not usable as a weapon. In a cut version this weapon can be used and this weapon can be get by the metro cop by the stun stick of the police force. I'm like this weapon is kinda interesting. It can even like shock people. It does more damage, but it does way slower in the you can find this even find this weapon in the death match of the Half-Life 2. But um here's the sad part. This the retail one um has like more usefulness. This weapon can also be compared against the Half-Life 2 retail and can be used as a battery just like the ATV suit battery rather than a weapon. This was cut as a usable weapon but this was not cut in the deathmatch just to replicate that this is the right weapon of the Half-Life 2. This gravity gun also known as the zero point energy gravity gun. This wasn't cut but the model and the texture itself is absolutely cut from the game because this model seems too old rather than the era 2002 known as the E3 2002 this weapon is an absolute beast I mean like this weapon like hits way faster and does more damage then see it does more damage but here's the issue the retail one is terrible like you cannot even hit anything except like you can pick objects and hit and reason as you write on right now seeing on the screen but here's the sad part about it not the sad part um, the disappointing part about it this weapon um, not a weapon this gravity gun was cut because its texture and model does look unrealistic let me show you see this model is weird absolutely weird it looks like an engine of like a V8 engine So you know, me having this weapon, it will be unique because this weapon does more damage than the retail gravity gun. I and mean, the retail gravity gun also looks great, but this gravity gun is original, absolutely original. Like this is how we were supposed to be like create gravity gun like this in the mid 2002 or the mid 90s. Scientists were developing this weapon about like how the what is a gravity gun and how does it work. Well, it only depended by the magnetic system and the magnet itself. Magnetic fields against each other create force and hit. These types of weapons are extremely overkill and powerful in real life. But since, due to the issue, they couldn't. Also one thing, this gravity gun is very hard to use and not only that, it does a lot of damage though, within like this one. It does a severe amount of damage, like with the four heads the zombie is dead. 
which is pretty amazing and I kinda like it although the weapon is cut because um not only its texture but its texture and the model is cut and they um, changed the model to the retail gravity gun we all know and love next up we have our fizz gun the most overkill one too you can even zoom and in out you can also damage yourself or hurt yourself right now we're seeing on the screen check this out Oop. you can even hit as hard as you can and also show you the mass of the weight in the console and as you can see right there oh that was my brother anyway my brother was shouting for no reason and you may see it in my next video my previous video I like what is that sound that was my mom shouting for playing these types of stupid video games like these are one of my favorite ones too I'm mean, like I like it and I cannot complain like you can hit like this you can hit like this but here's the issue the era this model is different like it doesn't disconnect easily it like stays on for a little time and then poop and that's the issue and other than that it does have these types of beams we all know this increases the force of the ratio level and what it does is that it increases a severe amount of force like those are the magnetic balls we all know and these are kinda good because um they're pretty cool look see you can even pull them if you really want to like the more you add right here the more force it creates like this and to hit with these again the zombie it's very hard too it's almost impossible to disconnect <coughs> and this was cut because um for no reason and I know for only one thing you know these cars right here right that's on the game hold on let me show you let me show you yeah this car right you can actually lift the car by adding more of these and then see hmm see you can grab the car that's why um, this weapon was absolutely cut from the game because this gun is predecessor to the Ga Garry's mod we all know it has like a blue um, blue physics gun the blue gravity gun we all know in the retail at the end of the game you can find the gun like look at this like it doesn't happen anything but when you add the mag metallic magnetic balls you can lift the entire thing see hmm see but here's the issue when you like running this thing in the secondary issue about this is that you can't even lift zoom in you cannot zoom in because of its weight we all know it's like 1500 kilogram and that can be the issue you can't even know about the more information about the weight on the console see right here object mass right here object mass 1500 kilogram and the object mass 30 3300 pounds yeah like that it's very really good weapon I'm not gonna complain at all because it can lift anything anything just check it out you can lift anything see hmm see lift anything but here's the issue and here's the problem when you like go to the impulse and use the magnetic balls it's gonna crash your game so don't do that and then at last but not least this weapon was cut then having a flare gun will be unique but here's the issue the issue about this part is that this weapon is still present in the retail game and you can be used by the Metro Cop police force which is the combined Metro Cop but um, we cannot use this it is absolutely unusable which is I cannot use it at all we all know so it's kinda sad to be honest and kinda disappointed so yeah and to my surprise, it, this thing does not have any zero projectile damage. Except it can ignite the people on fire. Or you can light the way out just like this. It can like you can light the way. But in the cut version, this weapon can be only found, the flare gun itself, in the Arctic region of the Borealis of the Hyperborea. I will show you in the next video of how does that look like. But here's the issue. My PC crash every time I use a new game on that chapter. So that's the issue. And this weapon was finally cut because you cannot use it anymore except the Metro Cop Police Force to spawn and call more Metro Cop Police sis. Now the MP5K 
which is the SMG1, and this SMG2 was MP7, this is the SMG2. This weapon can be fired in the in single or fully automatic. Right here, we all know, but here's the sad part. This weapon was the strongest one. I mean, it also, although it's very like super slow firing ratio, it does a lot of severe damage. See? Let me go good demonstration about this. It does a lot of damage, but against the met the combined soldier, it does severe amount of damage. But against zombie, it's a bit hard because they're mutated a bit. And this weapon, we all know the SMG2. I'm like the MP5K was completely cut because um, like I'm this is my favorite weapon. I mean, like this looks good. I mean, the this weapon does not get me at all. I mean, this is my favorite, but the SMG2 itself has um sad capability. This SMG2 has a very nice capability of shooting against the um all we know is single and fully automatic. Single burst and fully automatic will be amazing. Of course amazing and beautiful. And to my surprise, this weapon has a leak system. This, w when the leak happened in 2003, we the re just some of the retail model we all know, just like this one. The top scope looks the same. The whole entire thing looks the same. Let me show you. Hmm, see, everything is same, except they make the back part, yeah, the the back part, made more um, octangle type. And also, you may find this weapon in the era in 2002 and any beta games. So yeah, you can even find it anywhere. But here's the issue. I mean, the hurt textures was supposed to look different, and it looks like this. And it looks like this. I swear to God, man, it looks like this. You can even find it in the website of the Wikipedia page of how this the leak in 2003 of the SMG2 looks like. And finally, this model and the weapon was cut and put the new retail model of this in the game of the Half-Life 2 2004. The heavy machine gun or the HMG-1, it's a real life model which is the GR-9, we all know. But here's the weirdest part of all time. How will it get in here? Oh, that was just joking. The HMG-1 has like fully automatic and burst this weapon is so deadly that it can kill the combined soldier in a few shots and there's very scary see it takes like ever to one shot and against the head crab it's just a one shot and it does have a burst capability weapon of course it has a lot of power on the weapon but here's the sad part against it this weapon was cut for no reason because it is a weird color and I kind of like this weapon. I also even wanted to put this weapon on the Half-Life 2, the retail game texture, but I couldn't. Instead I put the weapon on the revolver. And there you go. And finally, this weapon was cut. Like, not cut at all, I mean like, they were supposed to be an HMD2, but what they did is that they removed the entire file of the game. And I was pretty disappointed because I'm just an idiot and dumb person. Now we have the brick bait of the game. This can be available anywhere, but you can hit rocks with it. To my surprise. And it does have nice capability against shooting rocks. But here's the issue, it does less damage. But, to my sad part, this weapon has a weak capability -ness. And after finally reaching the Raven home, you might feel that you died instantly. Now we have AR-1. This weapon comes out of nowhere.
This weapon can be shoot in burst, full automatic, semi-auto, burst, and single. The right now we're hitting is semi-auto because I kind of like it. I know it's a sniper. This weapon was also kind of cut because um, this weapon comes out of nowhere in the Half-Life 2. But here's the story begins. This weapon, of course, is very strong, super strong, super accurate. But here's the issue. The issue is that this weapon has some misinformation. Is that this is looks always looks like an AK-47. The AK-47 was also kind of obsolete for 2004. I'm mean, like they could have started making modern like AK-56 or the AK-780 or the AK-250. That would be good. But the sad part is this was cut because this weapon, because this already an assault rifle. We all know. I mean, I kind of like this weapon a bit, but not that much. Just only a bit. Not that much at all, but... This AK-47 is absolutely inaccurate when um, uncontrollable after 5 shots. So, yeah. It is very tough and uncontrollable controlling shot like this. Hmm, see? It is absolutely inaccurate after after five shots. So this was mostly cut. Now we have our AR2, which is absolutely amazing looking weapon. This weapon is way faster, more damageable, more killable, and more deadlier. What this weapon makes even more deadly is that when you shoot this weapon, you kill the enemies so fast that it becomes almost crazier. This weapon also shoots the that bomb thingy that the retail SMG shoots shoot. It's the AR2 underscore grenade. AR2 underscore grenade can be only shoot when you think it also uses some ammo. But that's a different story. For now, it will be this. For now, for now. Currently. But Here's the disturbing part about it. Looking at it, it looks a bit humongous. I mean, it looks a bit disgusting. But to me at least, it still looks good. And still fine to me. Because... And also, now these days, everyone like this weapon. Not everyone. Some of them has some like, Oh my god, I like this weapon even if it looks dirty. Yeah, there's another weapon of this, but it's more cleaner texture and has a different bit, different model animation also it has a scope ability on the another model of this weapon which is the cleaner texture one and the rusty one shoots the AR2 underscore grenade that's the retail SMG one shoots although this was cut because um, it looks humongous we all know and it does not that much belong in a Half-Life 2 game that looks absolutely dirty so they put the AR2 pulse rifle we all know and love, but here's the sad part, a bit small, very tiny small sad part about this weapon. This weapon was very popular in the mid-2002, which is the AR2 right here. Also uncon a bit controllable, not that much, and this is a bit uncontrollable rather than the AR1. AR1 does damage a lot, but this one does even more, but a bit more accurate than the AK AR1 which, or AK-47. This weapon, its original model is the XM-29 by the military that made. This, I kind of like this weapon, not gonna lie at all, but... And as you can see right there, it's an absolute, absolute, absolutely beautiful weapon on the outside model. As you can see right there, it looks absolutely like an XM29 and exactly looks the same. So, this was cut too because I was kind of sad to be honest. The incendiary rifle or the eye rifle, it's a multi shot flare gun. This weapon can do amazing stuff, we all know. But, 
this also has the capability of the flare gun too already have but here's the sad part about this weapon this weapon is an absolutely a beast weapon you can sh the only difference about this weapon you can shoot five flares with it and what this makes even more depressed is that this weapon looks like exact not depressed but bit familiar this weapon also looks like a pulse rifle but it shoots flare gun we all know but here's the another issue of this weapon this weapon was too familiar too good too familiar and too familiarization and I completely died because of that although this weapon is cut because um, they created the whole texture of this weapon and turn in the AR2 into these, this eye rifle to the pulse rifle and it's still present in the game file called eye rifle for some reason it was supposed to say the AR2 but it says still eye rifle and this weapon was completely cut now the sniper rifle is a very amazing weapon this weapon is original model is the big boy uh, I cannot say it man it's too hard to speech to be honest but this weapon is absolutely powerhouse because it can zoom more than the ATV suit we all know see it's this much it's this much of a zoom capability well, and, and this sniper is way more than expected but here's the weird part about this weapon this the scope itself looks like a bottle of 7 of coke or the coca cola the scope itself and looks pretty weird too never seen this weapon in my life also it's an instant kill weapon of course of course in hard mode it will take two or three shots to kill an enemy so if we're using snipers and if we're playing speedrunners using hard mode please I reminded you that this weapon is not that much easy against the hard mode because it takes two or three shots to kill an enemy so yeah this weapon also can be f you can also find this weapon from the combined elite camouflage soldier or the combined elite soldier there are two types also cut enemy so I'm not gonna show it later in the next video so yeah it's one of my favorite weapon that I've never had in my life also pretty fast at shooting but the reloading is absolutely slow so yeah and this weapon was cut in favor of the crossbow its crosshair is different and its main system of how does it reload is absolutely weird it looks like you're reloading a cup of water in a bottle this weapon also has a capability of killing the enemies in head within one shot while in the bodies is almost two or three shots just like the hard mode but in hard mode when you do a headshot it takes two or three shots and finally this weapon was cut in favor of the crossbow because this weapon does not do that much damage on the hard mode while in the hard mode against the crossbow is still one shot kill now this huge guy I've never expected that the RPG would look this great, but I'm not complaining at all. But this RPG looks amazing. I'm not gonna lie and complain that this RPG is sucks. But this RPG is very different. And its model it looks like the um what's it called? Mmm Hmm. hmm. I think the model is called FIM-92 Stinger yeah FIM-92 Stinger this weapon I kinda like the scope at the top you can even like lock it in or not lock it in like uh, it can act as an RPG and if you like use the laser guide it does work but this kinda bugged out so you cannot see it at all I'm like I'm clicking it as hard as I can but it doesn't change so it's kind of disappointing 
I mean, this weapon is a pretty strong one, too. Let's go. Jump, jump, come on. Like, it's pretty struggling to jump. So, yeah, like, there are most riders, you can shoot. It's absolutely a lock based weapon. See, it's an RPG, you can even, like, deactivate. And activate, it can not lock the missile. Because it's an RPG. It is not the locked RPG based. While on the retail, this thing was remastered and turned into the RPG one. But everyone was pretty was disappointed. Is that why this weapon does not have any lock capability? The lock missile launcher capability. So yeah, and finally that weapon was cut and transformed into the retail. Now we have the light slam, we all know. It's a very amazing weapon. I cannot complain at all. Because it is can also act as a satchel. So you can even grab them, restore them, and you can even explode them. Also the explodes of the explosion radius about this is very high, so you can even throw him if you really want to. Also, you can even do this. Let me show you. It's a very amazing design about the valve that they did. They also act as a laser called Slam in the Half-Life 1, but it was cut because, you know, it's one of my nice weapons I've never seen in my life. Detecting lasers and you're boom, you're dead. You can even also do in the top and anywhere except right here. You can even put on the floors, on the on the doors, on this side, and this side. You also get severely hurt, so yeah. And it's a very painful job to do in my life of the crap. Now, the most coolest weapon that everyone was wanted. The hop wire. It's a type of a weapon that you can trap enemies with it and explodes it's a very cool and the top one number one amazing weapon that no one ever had you can even do this though too the hard push you can't even explode if you really want to touch one line and you're instantly gone you can even hit again just to make sure it explodes twice in a row Hmm, see? It explodes in a rise. You can even do this too. Use the right mouse and the mouse button. And click the left mouse button. It hits as hard as possible. And the whole thing go down. Right there. And that's the amazing weapon. Now here's the amazing feature that I was always looking about. The ultimate weapon. And no one ever had the Marvel cocktail. This weapon is absolutely dangerous and very deadly because it can explode into fire. Let me give you a good demonstration about it. See? Also, very deadly in fire, too. So, yeah. And uh, this mod is kind of a bit bugged, so you may not see the Marvel of getting get into it and burst. Instead, it goes through the thing and goes into the fire like that so and this thing was cut because that was a bit unrealistic the valve thought or something else which is the reason the reason is unknown about why they did that for the binoculars are those binoculars zoom to five times you? get away from me five times I think I've been here before. Original HEV suit signal. God, I hate terminals. When you use the support of it. I think we're still in Europe. I thought this was supposed to be an improvement. See? I wonder why Dr. Green picked this dump. Oh, well, give me a second. I forgot to change my volume. God damn it. Okay, as you're going to see here, it just five times, but in favor of the HEV suit. This was cut. 
in favor of the HEV suit zoom functional capability. And this was cut. Speaking of fire, if you want to release, remove all those fire thingy, you can use the fire to make sure that he is not burning at all and put on his face if you think that he is making you angry. Or you can even put on his head if you think you are being getting disturbed. It's a pretty effective amazing weapon. More effect on details given given. In the another version of this it has a lack of effects and the details. And watching this thing on the screen is a bit modified. To my surprise and surprise. And at last but not least this can be found in the R2 region of the Borealis where the ship was getting exploded. They'll, the Odell will give you this weapon, not a weapon, the fire extinguisher to remove the fire. And last but not least, when the path of Borealis was cut and the Borealis, this weapon was also cut too. Now we have the Tau Cannon. It's an absolute power beast of a weapon. Kills the entire thing, kills the whole entire thing if you really want to. You can even make this thing explode. You can even kill this guard too. This was almost cut because almost cut. It can even annihilate anything if you really want to. And yeah. And there here's the sad part about this. This Tau Cannon is absolute powerful weapon in the Half-Life 1, you'll know. It shoots a powerful beam when alternately charged. Also knocks you out just like you're doing in the speedrun challenge. And you're goodly alive. And then also, this weapon also has capability of knocking capability. It's way harder. Also can hurt you. I will to 26% health. And this weapon, it can be found on the gout car and completely joined on the gout car. You can even find this weapon on the retail game, but it is not acquirable by the player or the character. It's not acquirable. And there is some sort of glitch that's going on right now. I don't know what this is, but severely knocking me out. Hold on, I have an idea. <laughs> it's pushing me. Hmm, weird. Now we have the combined guard gun. I mean, the combined guard gun is a powerful beam, powerhouse beast weapon. This weapon itself looks like this in the world view model itself. It looks absolutely amazing. And yeah, here's the clean texture of the AR2. This weapon is an absolute powerhouse and amazing weapon I've never had in my life. This weapon shoots a demonic powerful beam that can even kill Gordon or the player if this he gets too close by the beam. Let me show you a good demonstration about it. This weapon is so strong that it can kill the entire team of it. And they try to run away. This weapon can also knock anything hard if you have most likely like the blender and it can knock every single thing as hard as they want this weapon too it's a bit cut it's absolutely cut from the game because this weapon is extremely overpowered and very very super deadly this weapon can be acquired is acquired by the combine guard which is the cut character known as the Juggernaut. You can even knock the car if you really want to. And there we go. And last but not least, the final weapon of the all time, the Emulator. It's an absolute powerhouse of a weapon, twice in a row, because it is way deadlier and creepier and terrifying. This weapon is you can be used by the cremators, because this weapon is very, very dangerous and terrifying. It, you can put the enemies on fire or the innocent characters, just like this dude standing on me. 
This weapon is so strong that the fire are getting bigger and bigger every time. And they don't die that easily. Because they're lucky enough. You're, the, you also get in fire and you will also get fried just like him if you get to standby. Just like this. If the fire ratio is big, that means you will, if you get the contact of it, you will fry in a very blue bluest stuff that I've never seen it is way bigger in fire I'm like as you can see right there it's very big it's very big demonically and there you go the finishing weapon of the game itself bye bye